All right, guys, we're back again, uh, day 26, as we continue our adventure, Surviving the Winter. Uh, once again, uh, all fun and games on Twitch TV. If you guys decide to uh, want to check me out there and ask me any questions about the tutorial, or possibly uh, if you're asking, you know, just anything to do with Don't Start Together at all, feel free to uh, find me there, and, and uh, I'm more than willing to help. But let's continue our tutorial, because we're getting very close uh, to our day that we need to fight our deer clops. Our thermal stone is at 88%. That's going to definitely last us uh, as long as we need to uh, pass fighting the deer clops. We have our cactus once again. We have our cut reeds. We have our rope. We have our rocks. And we're going to have 10% on our bug net. So that we're going to leave back at our base. But we're almost home. And unfortunately, we are really low on gold. But hopefully, we can find a way to resolve that. Um, so... As I mentioned before, there's a few things that I want to try to get ready to go before uh, before we head over to the deer clops, and that is going to be uh, getting ourselves a bird cage. Now, ideally, the reason why you want to get yourself a bird cage is because you want to be able to make yourself one of the most important and best best foods, in my opinion, in the game, and that's known as and that's known as a pierogi. Unfortunately, right now we don't have any eggs, uh, but th when you do get yourself a bird cage you'll be able to tell why it's so important to to have one and and that's because feeding birds meat cooked meat specifically will make the bird uh drop an egg and that'll is what you use in order to make yourself a pierogi which will heal you for a lot and give you a lot of food uh and also just overall is a great food that lasts a very long time so we have a lot of we have a lot of our rot so anything extra you can decide if you want to use it to uh, fertilize your plants while you're here but we don't want to waste too much time doing that so let's go ahead and put our cactus away we put our ice away uh, we have a few items here that are beginning to spoil so we want to make sure that we put those inside of a dish very shortly uh, we also have our walrus tusk so unfortunately as i mentioned before we're running extremely low on gold so we have we have limited amount of gold right now but we did manage to get our cut reed so let's go ahead and make our papyrus uh, and another one as well too and as we go through on the structures tab uh, you can see that there's a bird cage so we need six gold nuggets in order to make it okay and we also have our two seeds but unfortunately those we have more than that but we don't have enough gold so kiri i don't know if you managed to get yourself any gold or not um, but if you do if you have four on you we can definitely make ourselves a bird cage ah kiri has exactly four so grab ourselves the seeds grab uh, walk next to the alchemy engine and then bam you can make yourself a bird cage and I always suggest putting the bird cage uh, somewhat closer to the somewhat closer to the cooking station because you're gonna need one uh, so to be like a little bit closer that way obviously if it drops eggs you're all good to go so uh, Kiri's over here cooking us uh, up a storm because we're about to get very hungry here we still have our cooks our seeds which we can cook up and also use for hunger later on uh, but we'll leave them here for the time being so we have our bug net. Let's drop that off here. So then that way we don't bring that around anymore. We have our extra thermal stone just in case. Uh, and that's still at 100% as well too. So let's go ahead and warm that up. Actually, let's not do that because we don't want it to spoil. So let's leave that in the cold. So we have our meatballs. Let's go ahead and fill our bellies up. And we're almost at day, we're almost at day 27. So we got to be very careful because as I mentioned on day 29 is when I want to start, I want to start setting up. So we have our rope, which we're not going to bring with us. We're gonna have our rocks, which we definitely need. We have our healing. We don't need any cut reeds. We have our hammer, which I guess we can keep. Um, and we have our straw hat, which we can definitely put in here as well too. But I'm gonna take what is known as trinkets. Okay, so trinkets, what are they and what are they? why are they so useful? So if you have the show me mod enabled, uh, hovering over a trinket will show you plus tribute. Okay, so plus gold tribute, plus eight and plus four. What does that mean? That means when you offer this to Dun, 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 the pig king which is all the way over here uh the pig king will drop you gold uh in exchange for trinkets where do you get trinkets from you can collect them randomly but you can also get them from graves which we're going to show you in the morning we have exactly one day to do so um, because i want to make make us an, a very important item that we got from our handy dandy walrus um, but in, before that i'm gonna drop off some more I'm going to grab a few more things here so we can get ourselves ready. Let's refuel our fire. Uh, we ha we do have our miner, uh, our miner hat at 100%. So I want to get ourselves 
something important in order to complete our bird cage and that is a bird trap so we grab ourselves some silk uh, we're going to look on the survival tab and you're going to see where it says bird trap and it requires three twigs and four silk so all those spiders that we killed earlier uh, that we managed to keep extra silk aside for making another tent but we also kept extra for making a bird trap so take your bird trap place it on the ground make sure that's a little bit away from your base place it down get yourself some seeds now you might want to also benefit from making um from making yourself and maybe one or two but i usually suggest just making one because you have a lot of uses out of it place the seed inside the trap stand away from the trap in the morning uh, birds will spawn in sometimes randomly during the night as well too if you're getting extremely lucky uh, and you're going to catch yourself a bird which you and then uh, able to put in the bird cage well it's nighttime considering i'm not going to run around very much right now let's start organizing so we have our meat we have our filler we have veggies uh, and we also have more veggies over here as well, too. Now, we don't want to use... We want to try to reduce the amount of veggies that we're using because, once again, our cactus is extremely important for our sanity. So we don't want to use that. So we're extremely, extremely low on veggies right now. But... Uh, that's okay because we're gonna hopefully be able to get all the all the carrots that we left around So remember how I mentioned before about leaving carrots on the ground Periodically when we were running around today though We're gonna get as many carrots that we can get as fast as we can get and we're gonna try to collect them on our way Over to the pig king when we drop off our trinkets So as the morning comes get yourself a regal shovel Which we already have because we made sure that we we got ourselves one We got ourselves an extra pickaxe in case we see uh, more ice or more gold We have ourselves a walrus tusk which is amazing if you don't have one uh don't worry about this it was still something that i would recommend doing is, is getting yourself familiar with, with trinkets now you see our hand bat beginning to start to spoil unfortunately the hand bat is not going to last until day 30 so i think it's time that we get ourselves one other pig uh, pig skin we get ourselves the two meat which uh, Kiri just gave us and we go over and craft ourselves a brand new hand bat So if you're already or if you're unable to do this, it's okay You can take your hand bat leave it in the fridge for now that way if you absolutely uh, Need it to stay as fresh as possible. Uh, you can leave it in the fridge now Keep in mind the fridge will leave it will make it last longer So if you notice when it's in the fridge, it's gonna last uh, 15 points four days in my pocket. It's gonna last 7.6 days. Okay, so the fridge is still gonna be better But it's still winter time. So we're gonna run away Hopefully the bird decides to to go into our bird trap So when we come back home, we'll have it We have our thermal stone nice and fresh and we're gonna head over to the pig king uh, So before going through the portal and teleporting us over so we can get there quicker We're gonna take a detour and we're gonna go through the graveyard before doing so All right, so Let's go over to that. And once again, we're going to collect our carrots on the way through as well, too. Any other veggies that we see as well, too. So grab the veggies, grab the carrots, anything that you see along the way. Make sure you're grabbing them. But don't spend too much time because we only have technically a day and a half um, before we need to uh, before we need to get ready to fight the deer clops. So we're passing by the portal again. Once again, if, if you find any extra resources i.e. any you know flint or, or any ice that you might need feel free to grab it but at least we're kind of scoping out where the ice might be in the future in case we need it uh here's the grass cat goes again as i mentioned so if you're passing through these easy way of quickly picking up grass you can just hold space bar and as they get scared they drop more and more and more and more grass which is good uh, but we're not going to focus on that right now because i'm kind of on a mission to go and getting as many extra trinkets so uh, if you want to if you want to pick up seeds along the way you can I necessarily don't usually usually pick them up They're only good to kind of pick up to have a quick snack because they do fill you up. So, you know, say you have 10 seeds in your pocket <clears throat> It will manage to to kind of keep you at least a little bit uh, less hungry than before So we're walking over the grave sites our sanity is extremely low right now. It's about halfway So uh, we want to be careful you take out your shovel you go over the grave dig and boom you get yourself a trinket now This is not a trinket. This is a blue gem um, but you have a chance you do have chances of getting trinkets chance of getting gold and you also have chances of digging up a ghost So you want to be very careful. So now we got a red gem. This is not what we want We want to get as many trinkets as we can we'll continue to dig uh, and this is okay And there's a ghost the ghost will follow us and try to attack us, but it's very slow. So it's okay We got ourselves a, a gear perfect uh, another trinket. This is good um, We got ourselves another blue gem 
And another red gem. Okay, so unfortunately we didn't get us ourselves very many trinkets, but we still have a few more um, a few more graves to go. And don't worry, if your sanity gets low, that's okay. If you don't want to copy me and what I'm doing right now, that's okay too. If you're scared, if you don't feel like you want to fight something right, right now, you don't have to. Life-giving Ami. This is exactly what I wanted to get. This is the reason why I came over here to dig up these graves. Um, and so it's perfect. I'm going to leave a few more graves alone while I while I just run away because uh, I don't want to fight that thing and I'm going to continue on over to the Pig King. So the Pig King is only open or available uh, Well, it's daytime or dusk. At nighttime, you're not going to be able to talk to the Pig King, um, but we have a lot of trinkets here, which equals a lot of gold, which is perfect. That ghost will still follow us, so even though you're running away, the ghost will still appear. Um, but because we got ourselves a life-giving ami, this is great. Uh, life-giving amis are basically an easy source of reviving yourself and not having uh, to worry uh, not having to worry about losing an overall max HP. So in Don't Starve Together, when you do die, uh, unless you have it on... If you have it on Survival, unfortunately, when you die, uh, you will be forced to restart unless you find yourselves like a touchstone. Um, but in Endless, though, however... Uh, and then this though, you obviously can be revived with multiple different things, but unfortunately what happens is every time you die and get revived, you have a max HP block that basically forms uh, like a black bar over top that unfortunately uh, will result in you losing HP unless you use an item called a booster shot to regain that overall HP. A little complicated, yes, so that's why life-giving Amy is so important. So boom, we have our trinkets. Pass it to the pig king, trinkets. Pass it to the pig king, pass it to the trink. Uh, keep going as fast as you can before it gets super uh, dark out. And now we have ourselves plenty of gold. And there we go. Now be careful because mole worms tend to spawn. And there it is. There's the terror beak, the first, the first shadow monster that's going to try to attack us. Is of course the terror beak. Uh, be careful because as I mentioned before with the mole worm, the mole worms generally hang out near the pig king, and they will try to attack you. So the terror beak, I'm going to show you real fast on how to how to avoid getting attacked by it so when the terror beak decides to attack it's going to run at you and running towards it real fast and jolting back will cause it to bite and bark at you almost kind of like yelling do it again run it towards avoid so we'll do this one last time so the terror beak attacks bar uh, yells then you run away run in run away make it attack then yell and then hit again and that's an easy way um to avoid them the other option obviously is just running 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 <laughs> so worst case scenario you could always just run away um, but ideally, like I like to show how to attack the shadow creatures because they can help, um, you know, obviously with getting yourself nightmare fuel. But that's kind of really far down the road. So let's warm ourselves up with uh, next to the fire. We have now a lot of gold, more than we have, could ever ask for. Uh, it is getting nighttime. So this time when we run back, we're going to go through the portal, uh, through the pink portal, which will which will bring us right over to uh, back to where we are almost living a like, few seconds away anyways. And we'll have one night to complete making hopefully the birdcage, get ourselves some pierogies um, and let's cook ourselves up some green caps, get it, eat it. So make sure that you always cook your green cap before eating it. Cause that'll, that'll give you sanity. Just eating it normally will actually reduce your sanity, which you do not want. If you're in a little bit above of a bind, uh, I don't, I don't hesitate to walk around and pick up flowers. Make sure that they're not the thorn ones, so make sure they're not roses. So as you run back to your base, uh, if you see flowers on the ground, especially right now in wintertime, pick flowers, feel free to do so, because you're gonna you're gonna need the rod in springtime anyways. So grab the flowers. I might not suggest, you know, too many of them, but just enough to kind of get your sanity maybe at halfway. Uh, but I'm just gonna do it for the for the sake of showing you uh, that it is okay to pick up flowers. Once again, we're picking up all the carrots that we can, um, any type of uh, veggies. Let's go through the portal, which will reduce our sanity, uh, and hopefully we'll get back to base on time because we only have a little bit more before our first boss uh, that'll ever show up in the continent to try to attack us. Now, don't be worried about the deer clop. Some people, you know, when you when you first see it, it's very scary, which it is. Uh, you know, it's there to destroy your base. It's there to try to kill you. Um, so don't necessarily be scared of it because it's it's part of don't start together. And it's part of the ways of when you finally manage to kill the deer clops, uh, you know, it'll get you even further and you'll start to realize that um, it's almost like a checkpoint. You know, I finally defeated the deer clops. I did it. Uh, and then you manage to get more and more things so we're here let's quickly indulge in a meatball real fast jump in that tent get our sanity back up and we have just enough time now so once again when you're using your tent you only have so many uses so please be careful you don't want to be using the tent and then getting another tent and using it again and using it every time you jump in the tent it uses one use 
Uh, so you don't want to be going when it's close to being uh, daytime. So we are almost at half of nighttime left. So we have just enough to regain a little bit of sanity um, before uh, before it's daytime. So tomorrow is day 28. Unfortunately, I don't think we caught... Did I don't know if we managed to catch a bird or not, but uh, it looks like our bird trap got, got moved around. So uh, in the morning, we're going to... In the morning, we're going to get ourselves a... We're going to get ourselves another seed. We're going to re-equip the birdcage to hopefully catch another bird if we can. Um, but we're getting ourselves a little bit of sanity. Our HP is already maxed out. So that's good. Uh, so it, it, regardless, tents help a lot. I know some people say things like tents are not the best for, for sanity. Um, but I, I think they're amazing for, for beginner guys because they can really help with sanity and HP in an easy way. And there we go. We did catch a bird. I didn't even notice that. Kiri must have had it uh, in their pocket this entire time. So bam, we got our we caught our bird. Um, normally, the way it would work is the birdcage would be over here. It would be flopping around. And you basically pick it up. As long as you have enough inventory spaces, the bird will appear in your inventory as well too. So boom, we have our bird bird it's day 28 let's make this fast we got our meatball let's grab our meatball uh we have our we have our carrots now so we have our carrots we have our meat now one i mentioned before we grab half of our meat doesn't matter what it is we go over to the fire we take our meat and we click on the fire and we start to make cooked meat now cooked meat not only will reduce the staleness and bring it back to good standing but it's ex extremely useful for feeding to the birds to get yourself the eggs so there you go so now we have eggs so hold space bar because if you decide to shift click or anything like that you might accidentally pick up the bird and now we have eggs so let's go ahead and put a few things away let's put our flowers on the ground because we don't need to have the petals let's put our gears away we have in a few extra things we're going to keep our life-giving ammo with us put those away we have our walrus tusk still um, but i'm not going to worry about that uh too much so clear four spots in your inventory one egg uh, a little bit of filler we have our veggie and of course we have our meat so egg filler veggie meat okay we're going to clear the crock pots out of here because we're not going to need them right now and we're going to go to town so first crock pot hold shift click 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 boom pierogies now these will take a while to make so that's why you want to make sure that you have a few uh, crock pots set up and crock pots uh, with more than one especially when you're cooking pierogies are extremely essential because you're going to find yourself waiting and waiting and waiting just like we are uh, for things to cook now the more complicated the recipe gets the longer it'll take and boom do it again so that we have a pierogi and before i show you the stats continue to make as many as you can and when until you're left with only filler left let's take another look to see if we have any extra meat we have a little bit of extra meat and unfortunately we're completely out of eggs so we'll just leave it for the time being because we don't want to leave ourselves with too much and i'll tell you or, or with like too little and that's why i'm going to go over there with that real fast and kind of explain why leaving yourself with a little bit of meat and not just using all your resources is ideal so meatballs give you 62 hunger Okay, but they don't give you a lot of sanity and they don't give you a lot of HP. However, pierogies, 37 hunger and 40 HP. So the healing salves only give us 20, but the pierogies give us 40 and they last for 23 days. So let's go ahead and keep those in our inventory. Now we have extra meat, but we never want to be using a pierogi to refill our health. Or sorry, to refill our, our hunger. So always use a meatball in order to do that, okay? So that's one thing that's always crucial is that if you're sitting around and you're like, I'm hungry, I'm going to eat a pierogi. That's probably not a wise thing to do unless you're absolutely, absolutely necessary and you need to. Let's take our gold. Let's separate our gold. We're only going to use so much of it. So we want to keep some on standby just because, you know, we don't want to we don't want to use too much of it. And we're going to now take our walrus tusk. If you have one, that's okay. If you don't, don't worry about it. I didn't really spend too much time explaining. We're going to walk uh, next to the alchemy engine scroll down and bam on the under the dress tab you have two gold one raw tusk and four twigs and you can make yourself a walking cane why are walking canes so important they increase your movement speed this is something that's going to come extremely extremely handy when fighting bosses uh when just moving faster across the map uh just pretty much in general you'll you're going to find yourself needing a walking cane uh to kind of make your day a little bit happier because it, they're just they're just such a great thing to have um thanks again for watching this video see you in the next one